I grew up in New Jersey and went to college nursing school in uh, Philadelphia. I think what brought me to Columbia was the opportunity to be in New York City, the opportunity to learn from some of the best professors that were around, and the opportunity to do clinical practice. When I was in high school, I applied to probably about 16 schools to what I wanted to do. But when I started exploring schools, nursing really spoke to me. Um, it spoke to me because, of course, you're caring and you're empathetic. Um, I think, but you're also smart and you're innovative. You're a problem solver, and that's sort of what a nurse is to me. And then as I was working as a nurse at Memorial Sloan Kettering, my first couple years after I graduated, I was taking care of the sickest patients and my patient wasn't doing well. And somebody came to intubate my patient, put an artificial breathing tube in them. And it, I said, well, wow, you're pretty, who are you? What are you doing? And he said, well, I'm a nurse anesthetist. And I said, oh, you're a nurse and you're doing this. He goes, yes, you should come visit me. You should come see what this is all about. That's when I started looking at Columbia's program. About a year after I graduated, my program director at Columbia gave me really my first opportunity. And my first opportunity was to teach a class. I was very nervous. I was young. I was, you know, 25. Um, and they said, Laura, you just, you just have to know a little bit more than the students you're teaching and stay one step ahead of them. Um, so I, I took on a class and I had a really great experience. And that class turned into more and morphed into more. And it was during that time when I spent about seven or eight years on faculty at Columbia at the School of Nursing that I, I got my doctorate and then graduated in 2010 from that school. And then I left Columbia and went to my current job at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center where I oversee a team of about 150 certified registered nurse anesthetists. I think Columbia instilled in me that there are always opportunities for you if you seek them out. There was a senior researcher who needed a little help. I just happened to be there and did projects on time, communicated well, and that little project turned into me traveling to China to speak on patient safety. So I think what Columbia has shown me is that the doors are always opened if you're willing and take the opportunity. I think the CAA is remarkable. I think they do a wonderful job of letting students know that there are resources after graduation, but I also think it's amazing that the way they've pivoted, especially during these past two years with COVID, to virtual programming, to allowing people to be at home, to to be connected with other people and people around the world. My favorite part of being part of the Columbia community is the connectedness that we all feel. When you come here to this main campus, it is impressive and overwhelming. Um, and you are connected to, you know, 300,000 alumni who are across the world. We all think about Columbia and it holds a special place in our heart and I think that connects us to each other.